Hey folks, this video is on exponential and log derivatives. So in this video, you will learn why e is such a special number and then how to take the derivative of functions involving e and of its inverse, the natural log function. So you probably have run into this number before in pre-calculus at least. And it's sort of a number like pi, right? It's 2.71, goes on forever after that. And you probably did not have a great idea of why it's such a special number. Well, here is why. So the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. Okay. That is exactly why we think e is such a special number. So what that means, it ends up being super useful for anything involving exponential growth, right? So what that means is that if I graph e to the x, so you guys probably remember an exponential curve looks something like that. At any point when I draw that tangent line, so at this point, the tangent line, the slope, is equal to the value of the function. So if this is like e to the fifth, the slope at that point will be e to the fifth. Okay. Similarly, if this is like up here, e to the 10th, the slope is going to be e to the 10th. So that's why e is such a special number. e is the only number that is like that. If I had like 2 to the x, my derivative rule would be a lot more complicated. So this is super useful in like modeling things that involve exponential growth, such as like when your population, like when you're talking about population growth or the spread of a virus, perhaps. Um, that's why this number is so cool. Okay, so let's do a couple of examples using this derivative rule. Um, so easy rule, we still have to chain rule though. So the derivative of e to the x to the sixth is going to be e to the x to the sixth times the derivative of x to the sixth. So times 6x to the fifth. Okay. That's it. Easy enough, right? Much easier than some of those trig ones we saw in the last lesson. Um, we'll do another one, and then we'll talk about the natural logarithm. So this guy, y prime. It's going to be e to the all of that. Notice I could actually rewrite this. I could write this as e to the negative x to the fourth over e to the 9x to the third because of my exponents rules, but I don't actually need to. Um, times the derivative of all of that up there. So times negative 4x to the third, and then 3 times 9, so 27x squared. So that's it. So derivative rule, easy, and then chain rule, and then these all are going to end up being nice little um, power rule derivatives for you. So those those are you're going to fly through. Then natural log, or natural log function. So this is the inverse of e to the x. And this is also a pretty easy derivative rule. So the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x. Okay. So that means in this guy, y prime is going to be 1 over 6x to the third, and then chain rule, right, times 18x squared. Now, okay, th this looks interesting, right? So it looks like I could combine these. And then 3x. So I could write this a couple of different ways. 3x to the negative 1, right? So 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Or I could write it as 3 over x. This is the better way to write it. Usually the nice way is considered the way without any negative exponents in it. Okay, we'll do one more. So y prime is going to be 1 over all of that. And then times the derivative of all of that, so times 5x to the 4th minus uh, 20x to the 3rd. And then I could combine them. So on top I get just 5x to the 4th 
minus 20 x to the third, and then x to the fifth minus 5x to the fourth. So notice I could simplify this a little bit. I might pull out some, I pull out an x to the third on top and an x to the fourth on the bottom and then look for common factors. But it's fine to just leave it alone. For the purposes of this assignment, we're just practicing the derivative rule. Okay. So that'll get you through the first part of the assignment and then we'll come back to some of the trickier ones here in a second.